Welcome everyone. In this walkthrough, we'll look at qualitative tests for ions. To answer questions like this, you need to know the reagents and observations associated with these tests. It's also essential to know the ionic equations with state symbols. It's a year one A-level chemistry question taken from an AQA past paper. Details are in the description. Let's get started. Pause the video, read the question and press play when you're ready to go through the answer. The group 2 metal iron will be a positive iron, a cation. The cation could react to form a precipitate with any anions that are added. Sulfate ions, SO4 2 minus, are added from the sulfuric acid. Nitrate ions, NO3 minus, are added from the magnesium nitrate. Nitrate compounds are mostly soluble, they tend not to form precipitates. You should be aware that barium sulfate is an insoluble white precipitate. Group 2 sulfates become less soluble down the group. This is studied under group 2 chemistry. The group 2 metal iron is barium 2 plus. I've given the ionic equation there that supports this. The state symbols are essential. They show that a precipitate is formed. There is a solid product. Here's the next part of the question. Pause the video, read the question, and press play when you're ready to go through the answer. The negative ion in solution Y might react with a cation that is added to form a precipitate. H plus ions, or protons, are added from the sulfuric acid. Mg2 plus ions are added from the magnesium nitrate. Group 2 hydroxides become more soluble down the group. This is also studied under group 2 chemistry. Magnesium hydroxide is insoluble. The negative ion is hydroxide, OH-. The balanced ionic equation is also given there. Once again, state symbols are essential. They show that a precipitate is formed that is a solid product. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Post in the comments if you've got any questions or suggestions. Take care.